Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jody, and I am here to talk about the dark side of motherhood. Um, before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that you can get all of my upcoming videos. Now, let's get into the video. Before I talk about what I want to talk about, I want to say that my kids are the greatest blessing that I could ever receive from God. And that there is nothing that I would not do for them. And I love them dearly and I appreciate them and they have helped me grow. But there is something called depression and depression in, in being with being a mother and a wife and it's just a whole bunch of stuff but I just wanted to talk about this topic because it's very like people are not really talking about it but now with the movement with the mental health and people being aware and talking about it more I really wanted to touch on this subject because me personally I've been dealing with depression for a very long time and you know it all started when I was younger or whatnot and I remember when I was 16 that's when I started being aware of what that is and I personally did not know that I was depressed because back then like in the early 2000s and even further back like people were not even talking about depression or you know people would label you as crazy or you know all those type of things because only crazy people deal with those issues but we were all dealing with it internally and never talking about it. So for me, when I was 16 and I was aware and I remember that I told, I was, you know, it didn't get, my realization point didn't get to how bad it was until I used to self-harm, you know, I used to do things to harm myself. And I did not understand what that was until the grassy, you know, from my time, the grassy, the next generation. And they touched on that topic. It was a TV show. They touched on that topic. They touched on self harm and, you know, self hate, hating yourself and all this other thing. And I remember I had went to my dad and I basically told him about how I was feeling and all these other things. And pretty much he just expressed to me like he never understood that or whatnot it was just like it was weird but he basically said that his friend where well, I went to one of his friends house and I guess when I was nine or whatever and I wrote not I guess like not a suicide letter but I guess that's what it would be labeled as basically I don't want to be here anymore I wish I was dead you know all this other stuff and my thing is like my dad never talked to me about it that I can remember anyway he never talked to me about it and it took like what six years later for me to six or seven seven years later yeah seven years later for him to even talk about it and I was the one to have to go up to him and mention it or whatnot so like I've de I've battled with it for a very long time and to the point where I never understood why I'll be depressed or what my triggers are or anything like that to when I went to college and I started to go to therapy. And, you know, my therapist would ask me certain questions and stuff like that. And I didn't really have an answer because I did not know to the point that sometimes, even to this day, I'll ask myself, do I really know what happiness is? You know, like you say you're happy, you say it. It's like, cause I've been 
masking I've been masking it for so long that I don't even know when I'm truly something or if I'm truly being myself because being a pastor's kid and like that and just being raised in the Haitian community and all these things because that's all I know I can only speak as a Haitian woman or a Haitian kid because that's what I am but it's just that um being a pastor's kid there's so much pressure that comes with that because it's like we can't slip up we can't make mistakes at least to my eyes this is what I feel like we can't slip up we can't make mistakes you can't do the slightest bit it's all about image and I remember my my dad used to always tell us like we are a representation not of not only ourselves and not only God but a representation of my parents and with that it's just like with their leadership position any little slip up you know rumors and this and that or whatever like that played a big toll and for me i would say that it waited on me a lot because it was just like oh i had to be perfect forever to the point that i would do everything to please my parents or be a perfectionist and if i did not do something right or the right way that i failed them or i failed myself or or that i i'm not good enough or i'm not worthy or it was just like so much things that happened with like that point so I've been dealing with this for a very, very long time. And now, um, when I had my daughter in 2014, I would say that I never experienced postpartum depression with either of my kids, thank God, because of my support system or um, my mom and my husband and like extended family that were there for me and all this other stuff. But I have dealt with depression with my own thing because I've been battling this for so long and being a mother, being a wife, and then trying to be pleasing to yourself, not only only like doing things for your for your husband or trying to be a good wife or a good mother or or, or like trying to be happy for myself, it gets very overwhelming. And I have two kids now and even though like I fight with depression every single day. I try my best to look at the positive and focus on myself to try to get self-care. But anything can trigger the point to where, man, forget my kids, forget my husband, forget everybody else. I don't want to be here anymore. And sometimes with stress and anxiety, it really weighs on you and, you know, and make you feel like you're not good enough. Like some days, I don't feel like getting up, but the reason that I do get up is because of my kids, is because of my husband, because like I have a duty to take care of them. I have a duty that if I don't do what I need to do as a mother, my kids are not gonna be all right, or I need to, you know, just put on the coat, like put on the armor of motherhood and put on the armor of a wife. And sometimes it's because of them that I'm up and not because that I want to. Cause some, some days I just want to lay in my bed all day and, and not do anything. Like I don't want to hear mommy. I don't want to hear baby. I don't want to hear babe. I don't want to hear nothing. I just want to be in peace with myself. So like just fighting with it. So that I, I know it's a thing like people will say like, oh, you don't just need God, you need therapy, which is true. But I will say that being focused on my spiritual life and actually reading my Bible has given me the oomph or the strength to go on for the rest of the day. Like I really make sure that I do my devotion first thing in the morning because if I don't do it first thing in the morning, I feel like the devil can just find any type of way to just sneak attack me. And it can be just a little slightest thing can trigger can trigger me to the wrong thing to the point where I, like I'll be angry or frustrated with with my kids or yelling at my kids and yelling don't do anything and that's not going to help them be good people in society by yelling at them and you know, being a snappy wife or like your fuse is so short because 
you're just not in the mood for none none of it and being a mother just triggers so much that I've worked on it triggers so much that I've worked on because my baby is nine months old and she doesn't understand I'm tired she doesn't understand that I need peace I need quiet I need rest she doesn't understand that because she's hungry she's wet she needs attention and I have to give it to her and sometimes I love my husband and I love how he cares for me and things and so forth but sometimes he comes home from work and he's exhausted and I completely understand that he's tired and he needs his rest and you know he has to go back and wake up again because he works two jobs and he goes to school so I definitely understand him as a person and the times that he do help me out I really appreciate it but sometimes it's like it's all on me you know because I am a stay-at-home mom and I cook clean take care of my kids do homework nurse them back to health I don't have a room for me to be sick. I don't have a room for me to not be okay because regardless if I'm sick, if I'm not okay, I still, there's no days off for me as a mom. I still have to do everything that I need to do. And, you know, I've been fortunate that I found some type of balance sometimes with myself to push myself to go out and push myself to do other things besides being a mom or being a wife to do things for myself and that has really helped me and i've been really like following people on instagram with like self-care love and how to take care of yourself and excuse me how to take care of yourself and how to not be in so deep of a darkness that you look at the positive things in life look at the things you know focus like even even if it's just going to get your nails done going out with your girlfriends or just doing something just for you without the kids and sometimes i do get mom guilt that maybe every friday i'm gonna go out because for the past two months it's like every weekend has been an activity and a lot of the times I was out by myself and my oldest said to me, mommy, you never go out with your kids. And it kind of took me aback some because it's just like four Fridays out of the, four Fridays out of the year that I'm out of the year Back to back, I've been going out and my daughter said to me, I never go out with my kids, but they're always with me. Like, you know, and, and sometimes that mummy guilt, you know, gets to me because like, look at these pretty faces. Like what, what, what would you do for them? And it's just like, I, I don't know. I know that there's a lot of mothers that deals with these things or even people in general that's dealing with depression and dealing with this in silent. And you know, you don't have to go through depression alone or if you're bipolar or have any type of mental health, like there are people out there willing to really help you out. And I just want us to like, to stick together and to just, you know, open up to the way that we feel it's okay to express yourself and to let others know that you're not okay because for me almost guaranteed every single day i am not okay but i push through life and i read i read and self-empowerment things and i go to therapy and i also um you know i had stopped going for a while but I have to go back and sign up for um, these people that help people that doesn't have $300 for a therapy session, you know? So, um, uh, 
excuse me i'm gonna put some things in a link down below and you know what conversate with me and let me know what it's been like you know and how you've been dealing with your issues and just talk to me in the comments i would love to hear more about your story and what what's happening and what's going on with you and you know let's just build a community of moms that support each other throughout whatever and go to my instagram and talk to me on instagram dm me feel free to just open up the conversation because we sh we should talk about this because you know everybody we all talk about the most glamorous things of motherhood and you know yes the kids are amazing yes they're excelling yes they're doing this but moms are you okay because a lot of the times i'm not so and i don't want and i'm not afraid to say that i'm not okay because i'm not and it's overwhelming sometimes because you're learning your children every single day as much as they're learning you and it's not a perfect ride you know so it's like one day may be a great day and then another day may be a really bad day or a really bad morning. And it's okay to say that everything's not peaches and cream, you know? So yeah, share this video with me. I might do a part two series of this, but just like how to find yourself when you feel depressed, you know, that might be my next, that may be my next video. And just, yeah, DM me and I, Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear more from you. And have a great one. And I hope everything everything is well and it's going to be better. It is going to be better by the grace of God. Okay? We're just going to be able to pray for each other and help each other out. Bye.